Hello everyone. I hope everybody's having a good and blessed day today. And uh, I'd like to welcome y'all to Mitch Smith Bible Studies. And uh, I ask y'all, if y'all haven't done so already, I ask y'all to please subscribe to us and share us around. But uh, I'm going to be sharing a, a dream with y'all today. And uh, it's happened right around February the 15th. Of this year of 2022 and uh but <clears throat> it's all got to do you know about believe things i believe is fixing the, is repeating already and uh you know things that's going on and uh but it, it starts out you know this dream it reminds me of uh the book of jeremiah and you can find like, about basically what i I heard and seen in the first chapter in the book of Jeremiah. Uh, but it starts out, you know, this dream that I had, uh, I heard a voice and it said unto me, seething pot. That's all the voice said. Uh, and then when, after I heard the voice say seething pot, well, then I seen like an image of a pot on the ground, a seething pot or a pot. And, uh, it was upon the ground, and the ground was like sandy dirt with uh, about the size of your fist, rocks, you know, laying uh, around and away from it and stuff like that. So it was like a desolate, dry, dirty, sandy place this pot was at. <clears throat> and uh, this pot that I seen hit was upon its side, and it was kind of the lid, you know, was laying probably about a foot away from it. And, uh, but this real hot, thick type sus substance was pouring out from this pot. And, uh, and it was like slowly oozing out of this pot out onto the ground. And, uh, like I said, when I heard the, the, the voice saying to me, Sathing Pot. And then I seen the image of this pot laying upon its side with the lid, the top lid laying probably about a foot, foot and a half from it. And this real hot, thick looking substance was oozing and pouring out of it, out onto the ground. And the pot was upon its side. Somebody turned it over. But, uh, <clears throat> and it brought, when I woke and it reminded it, Put me right there, you know, it reminded me of the book of Jeremiah. You know, whenever uh, he was showed a season pot, you know, when he come across it. <laughs> but I'd like to read something to you here in, in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 1, starting verse 11 down to verse 19. And it reads, Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Jeremiah, what seest thou? And I said, I see a rod of an almond tree. Then said the Lord unto me, Thou hast well seen, for I will hasten my word to perform it. And the word of the Lord came unto me the second time, saying, What seest thou? And I said, I see a seething pot, and the face thereof is toward the north. Then the Lord said unto me, Out of the north an evil shall break forth upon all the inhabitants of the land. For lo, I will call all the families of the kingdoms of the north, saith the Lord, and they shall come, and they shall set every one his throne at the entering of the gates of Jerusalem, and against all the walls thereof round about, and against all the cities of Judah. And I will utter my judgments upon and this here is, you know, where it starts getting intense. <clears throat> and I will utter my judgments against them, touching all their wickedness, who have forsaken me, and have burned incense unto other gods, and worshipped the works of their own hands. Thou therefore gird up thy loins, and arise, and speak unto them all that I command thee. Be not dismayed at their faces, lest I confound thee before them. 
For behold, I have made thee this day a defense city and an iron pillar and brazen walls against the whole land, against the kings of Judah, against the princesses thereof, against the priests thereof, and against the people of the land. And they shall fight against thee, but they shall not prevail against thee. For I am with thee, saith the Lord, to deliver thee. So, this dream that I had, you know, the season part, I mean, I don't know what direction it was pointing when it was tilted over, but all I can tell you, it was hot. Uh, and the substance, it was real, the substance that was pouring out of it was real thick, and it was steamy hot. It was pouring, oozing out and pouring out on the ground slow. And, uh, which, could this be pointing me or us in a direction like a repeating of times of Jeremiah whenever he's bringing judgments upon uh, Israel and Judah, you know, for their wicked ways. But in our time, it, could this be like showing us that it's a repeating the same way of the thing that's going on? That you know he's get that the Lord's getting fed up with, and uh, he's bringing judgments upon us. But if you know, chapter sixteen, he told Jeremiah that he would always be with Jer Jeremiah, and Jeremiah was going to be protected. You know, especially with Jeremiah obedient, following the Lord's obedience. He told him. He said. I am with thee, saith the Lord, to deliver thee. And, uh, but I believe, could this be meaning towards America, of the evil wickedness that's going on here? Or could it mean the whole entire world of the wickedness thereof? I'll let you all decide on that. But I, here's what I will encourage you. If you want to find out what all that was going on, I could tell you a lot of things, you know, that there was a lot of wickedness going on. And I could tell you a lot of uh, things that there was. But I would like to for you all to read it for yourself. And don't take my, you know, say so. Of it, but take what the, the good book here says and read start there in the first chapter in Jeremiah like in the dream it pointed me to the first chapter and it pointed me to that and I know a lot of the wickedness and false gods today is worshiping and doing and I would like to encourage you all to pick up your Bible and go to the book of Jeremiah in the Bible and start from there and I encourage you all to do so because for the Lord, you know, he sent Jeremiah to, to tell these people uh, that they need to turn from their evil and wicked ways. For if they didn't and continued on the wickedness that they was doing, they was going to be judgments brought. I believe that, you know, like what, that's what he is telling. I have my opinion about it. But again, could this be me in America itself? or the whole world i'll leave you all up to that but i have my opinion about it and uh but he was fixing he was bringing judgments upon the land because uh he's fed up with it and he was sending jeremiah to uh go tell him you know they need to turn from their evil ways for if they didn't the lord's going to bring judgments and uh Jeremiah, he, he obeyed. No matter what Jeremiah went through, he went through some rough times when he was doing this, but the Lord stayed with him. And if you notice, down towards, you know, after you get down through the 17, 18, and 19 verse of chapter, chapter 1 in Jeremiah, that will tell you right there, you stay obedient to the Lord and stay on the Lord's side no matter what comes. He'll protect you from it. But you got to accept Jesus into your heart if you ain't already. Now, 
I don't know what all's coming. I'm just telling you this dream and pointing you to where he pointed me to share with you all. You all go to the book of Jeremiah and start reading it for yourself. And don't take my word for it. Just take what the good book says, you know, what the Bible says and what all the wickedness that was going on. But I just wanted to share you this with you all about the dream I had about the Satan pop. I had a voice in the dream, I had a voice speak out into me. It said, Seethan pot. And then I seen an image of this pot laying upon its side. And those kind of rocks about the size of your fist, you know, scattered about. But this pot or Seethan pot, it was turned upon its side. The lid from it was probably about a foot, foot and a half from it. And there was a hot substance oozing out out upon the land. That tells me, you know, it's reached its boiling point and it's fell over and something's coming. But the only way to be protected from it and uh, is to follow the good Lord. But I just want to share this with you all. And again, I encourage you all to read the book of Jeremiah. To see all the wickedness that was going on. And I believe America and all these other nations needs to turn and wake up. I believe the good Lord's trying to wake the church up. And uh, I want to say, remember to pray and pray daily and give the good Lord the praise and glory he so rightly deserves. Give thanks to Jesus Christ for what he did for us upon the cross and the shed of his blood for us to give us a way out. And uh, I want to say God bless to you all. God bless to y'all and y'all's families and uh, be safe.